Hello and welcome back. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our campaign as the Gideon Dynasty. We're at 11.4 out of 10.6k retinue cap because we've inherited a bunch. Which is kind of cool. I like it. We got uh, 800 retinue over here. Pure light infantry. Very nice. I believe we should be able to tell by looking here if it is the right kind. Ethiopian skirmishers. Perfect. Yes. We're going to go ahead and say no to the Christmas music. Thank you. I've heard that song quite often enough recently. We'll put down the... Uh, Oh, actually, it looks like he's going to take care of it himself. If you see your vassal raise up his levy, it's because he has enough men to take care of it. So, nine times out of ten, if that happens, if you see revenue, or revenue, excuse me, see troops, uh, he'll he'll go fight it and just win. But let's just real quick, um, I mean, we're here already. Uh, we'll go take care of it for him. And I want to take a quick peek at that daughter, child, baby thing. Do thrift focus. Thrift focus is like just like my new thing. I just do it on every character because it's simpler. Fussy, indolent, willful. Still got our organizer in charge. So here we can see he's got 2,000 men. He could probably beat that, actually. But our skirmishers are amazing at just going straight through, skipping the melee phase entirely. Okay, is this even a rebellion against me directly? Oh, it is. Good. Prisoners, we've got, uh, some woman. Let's piss off the Afghanistanis. Nice. I have a valid reason to execute get at you. I don't know why. We just banish him. Go away. Okay, I think it's time for war. I mean, we do have a, uh, a thing against me, right? There is a... A thing, the Shaybanids are part of it, but the Saram's a hit or not, and if the Shaybanids are in it, they're not even that strong, right? They have 9k troops. I think my retinue is larger than that. Let's uh, declare war for the Duchy of Sherman. Or was there an, is there another holy site nearby that we can actually reach? I could go for Coruscant. Let's go for Coruscant. What horrible, ugly borders, but we're going to do it anyway. You go right ahead and raise that... Raise your, uh... Allies, I don't care. We have not raised... Raised up, um... Troops with this, uh, this character yet, so... We have, we should have plenty of room to piss off our vassals. And that's what's really important. Are you my direct vassal? Why are you my direct vassal? You shouldn't be my direct vassal, that's gonna make this guy mad. Of course he wants to control that province, why wouldn't he? Alright, um, grab these boats. Let's go to, like, here. Grab any troops that I missed. Just grab all those. You guys can all go to there. And then these ones instead, though, you're gonna... Instead, stay still. Hop on these boats. Seriously, you can't... Ah, uh, shoot. That's what it is. These boats can head over here. It takes a long time to gather an army. Anyone that's on like this this tip of this peninsula can go to there. Uh, all of these boats can go over to here. Anyone that's raised over here can go to here. Except for you, because I've made that mistake before and you guys marched through Rebels. Instead, you'll hop onto the boats, and then you'll teleport across. Be nice if that duchy wasn't raising its troops over there by default. I remember when the game first came out, and there was no such thing as liege levies. You actually did get whatever levy it was directly out of every single province. And uh, it took even more work to, to gather an army together. Those were the times. Yes! No, you're not supposed to be in my court position. Okay, do your best, but now you're fired. 
Why do I have... Apparently I have... I can, you can have two court physicians? That's weird. Loses the trait sickly. Seems as if the treatment worked. Good. Good job. Okay, how are we doing? Hmm. Any way that I can speed this up a little bit? I think so. Stop off here, pick up these 300. Just stay here for a second. Up one of those boats, you can... Stay in Masawa. Okay, into the dungeon with him. Yes, there can be only one. <laughs> this guy have money. He does. Goodbye. <laughs> That's great. There can be only one court physician. Lethal nightmares. Woo. My dear grandson Rahad must have suffered a stroke in his sleep last night. He was found drooling in bed, one eye bloodshot, mumbling about a small monster that stabbed him in the eye. He's five. I mean, how how can he possibly mumble? Words. Real words. Babies can't talk. What are you talking about? Granted, I have a three-year-old who won't stop talking. So I, I'm talking complete nonsense right now, but still. Oh my god, it takes so long to put this army together. Um... 26, 28, uh, let's see. Four goals up here. I suppose we can form up in this location and at least do a siege while we wait. Supply there is 16k, so if I send these guys, we end up with 7,300. If I grab all you guys, that's 10,000. We've got room for 6,000 more, so let's just grab, like, a little bit of this one. And go over there with that. And this other 8 stack can just sit here for now. Land is getting incorporated du jour into our territory. Very nice. Do I still have no siege leaders? I don't remember. We're playing as a new character, aren't we? Let's see, we've got some pretty damn high martial scores, but uh, you have actually no modifiers. Do we have... Architect. Architect? No. Siege? No. Sad day. Sad day, sad times, sad stuff. So, this, this character doesn't seem to be having very much of an issue. I mean, he's got no face cancer, it's a big part of it. He's also a zealous man, so that's cool. We could become cruel, we also become... we could become kind. Well, obviously becoming kind would be better if we could, and we did. So, Vassal Opinion plus 5, same trait plus 5, Entry goes down. We're not trying to murder anyone though, that was a previous character. We could try to revoke some lands. Try to plot to kill people. Don't really particularly want to. We have another Karite Uprising. What is Karite? Like a... it's a Jewish heresy? Why do we have so many issues with heresy? We have 65 moral authority, for crying out loud. Is that the Kyrite here? Yeah, like, what was the chance of unrest here? Heresy. Heretic stronghold. Okay. I mean, I guess. Alright, we're getting far fewer armies available. Good, good. And now I have too many troops to move on these boats. Probably fastest to come from here. We don't want to cross that major river to get to this army. Of course, they're going to go very, very slow on their siege. 2.9%. It's not quick at all. As, as technology goes, we have not very many points. As far as money goes, we have... Do we have anything we can build in the hospital? Construction needs to get to 5. We're halfway there. I mean, do I have a hospital in every province that we have in our capital? That would be something we could do. I mean, they're not that expensive to start, so let's start them all. 
The next time we unleash the plague upon the world, we're going to uh, hopefully survive it ourselves. Interesting to me how when you have the hospital, you can't like it doesn't. It's not one of the buildings that shows up to cycle through. Trade posts of all things do, but not not hospitals. There's a lot of little things that have changed over the years with this game that they could make a little bit better. Do we still have our organizer? I think we do, but I think he's over here. Yes, nice, good. Uh, I want... you. I just want my organizer uh, leading troops. Any army that's actually marching. And I'll go on the front line, sure, let's spend some time with uh, the gay man. Maybe he'll teach us a thing or two about uh, love and war. We have Righteous Imprisonment on Duke Tekka the Tenacious, who is a powerful vassal with god-awful stats. His heir is a Gideon. We like this. It is uh, my son, in fact. What? Huh? The succession law here is Gavilkins. You have a son. This can't possibly be right. Yahya Daniachwid should be the actual heir, not my son. Uh, let's see, where could we... We could imprison you. You're the leader of a plot. Only a 4% chance, so you would rebel. You are my Seneschal Triple Duke. And your capital is over here. Well, let's not tell him to stop the plot, because I would like to imprison him. I like it when my vassals are children. Makes them a lot more subservient. And since it doesn't really appear that we're actually going to have very much difficulty with this war, I may... Take the time to go do that now. And Kyrite Uprising. So that was you, yes? Let's just say yes. <laughs> Let's just assume that that was the right guy. Alright, we are over the supply limit here. I don't know how I did the math wrong, but I must have rallied too many troops to this location. And supply is not going to increase anytime soon, so let's just pull... Like, 1,200 of these men off as quick as possible. June the 2nd. It's gonna take a month. Probably gonna suffer attrition then. Defensive pack opposing some character has been disbanded. So, unfortunately, this is not part of the war goal, so it's kind of a waste. And there are 20,000 troops up there, so we can't really afford to be doing another rebellion right now. I think what we do need to do is, uh... We started the siege. We've already done 65% of it. We might as well complete it before moving on, but... And since I'm not paying for these boats, I'll just keep them raised. We're pissing the vassals off anyway. We might as well just have them on hand. But we gotta do our fight, and then we gotta march in there and take the war goal. Otherwise, uh, this war is gonna take a long time. Right now we have no ticking war score. There's a lot of people involved in the war. Enemy war leaders got 12k. Enemy Caliph has 17k. Stromsahids are helping out. If we win this war and we smash the Stromsahid dynasty's army, we will very clearly want to go after... Uh, one of their duchies in the next war. Please do march down here. I, I am looking forward to fighting you. What you got? You can get to Laristan? I actually kind of want you to fight me, so I'm gonna just sorta... Let's see, you arrive on the 17th of August. We got one month. We will finish the siege before the month is up. We'll take a half morale landing with this army. So let's just make sure we've got good commanders here. I want to have my, my leading center guy here. I want to have 17 on that side, 21 on this side, that all looks good. And the reinforcements... will dock in. Shock and awe, baby! It's gonna be glorious. Hey, we won our siege, which gives us the ability to dock. You want to marry my daughter? You... You are a filthy Sunni! The answer is no. It will always be no. She's 30. Oh. King Benet, my previous character, was apparently married. Whatever. Uh, you can marry matrilineally some man that guy she's sick yeah well she's got the cancer never mind just just go away woman I don't care marry uh nobody I don't want just just don't make any more children don't make any more spawn that are gonna I don't want to I don't want to make more with her because I don't want to lose the prestige right now I don't I don't, I don't know I just want to deal with her 17th of August. This nice job. We need to land. That's perfect. And let's check to make sure we're improving relations with the right people. 
You are at 17. You are a powerful vassal, though, which means you're more likely to lead factions and stuff. Of course, you're also the person I'm planning on imprisoning after this war is over, so let's not worry about you yet. Let's worry about this guy instead. My heir is apparently doing a good job improving relations with people. Mint coins for glory. Lose money for prestige or gain the trait greedy. I like gaining the trait greedy. That's great. National tax modifier is good. It is the third sin. We don't have the third virtue, so that's fine. Let's do it. We are now a greedy man. 10% national tax modifier. Greed, greed is good. It always It is always good. And haha, we surprised you. The AI is too stupid to realize that we actually have way, way, way more men than they think that we do because they didn't see them. We did get to the melee phase, which is where we're going to probably suffer... Nope, looks like my rights news doing a good job. Nope, doesn't matter. It's 36,000 troops, I mean, come on. What do you expect? That was... Was some... Thing. Some, some creature just turned 16. I don't know. Who cares? This war, this battle will be worth a lot. 20 ore score, in fact. Uh, we also gained 38 piety. Of course, I wasn't in the I wasn't leading troops, so I didn't actually gain any but myself. But I did get the military tech points, which is nice. So the larger of the two armies was the one that needs to dock up and then run away. And of course, we suffer an attrition tick. Nice, great. Okay, let's dock in here and try to catch that army with our marchy fasty guy. You know what I want to do? I, I kind of feel like getting back into CK2 modding. I haven't done CK2 modding in a long time. I'm like, I, I want to go back to a mod that I created a long time ago called uh, Clear Combat. It removed all the tactics nonsense and just made it so that you could visually see, like, are your generals doing a good job or not? Like, not, not you didn't have to pay attention to to which, um, which tactic countered which tactic and all that nonsense. It was just basically, a, it was a very well-made, I must say, uh, thing that I did where, depending on your martial score, it would dynamically alter how good they were at choosing tactics. There was five five tiers to the tactics. There was uh, bad tactics, poor tactics, average tactics, good tactics, excellent tactics, right? And depending on what type of tactics they used, they would just do more or less damage. And so it was a thing where, um, you know, if you had 23 martial, you would have X percent chance of doing a certain type of tactic. And there was no, like, counter mechanism. It was just better generals did better. And I could take it, and here's the reason I mentioned it. I want to take it one step further and I want to make it so, like, every point in Marshall does a little bit of something. So that you don't have this... I don't know, I, I just feel like this whole, like, only ever having one damn siege leader on the whole freaking planet is the way I feel. That can actually, like, give you this monstrous bonus to siege speed or movement speed is dumb. And, and every Marshall score should give you a little bit. Still have the trait, but, like, I would do this. I would cut the effect of the trait in half. And then give everybody half. So that siege leaders are still better. They're just not the only one. You know what I mean? Like, just make them... Make it so that... I don't know. Just, I just do it different. Do we want to be here? We know half that army is very, very weak. It is mountains. Is 17 the best we can do? Nagasi? There, is there a minor tile slot? There is a minor tile slot open. Let's give, uh... Yeah, my court physician... This this dude, he does everything. He he swings in every direction. That's what he does. He's got no actual, like, modifiers, but... he got 19 martial score, we'll take him. Sure. Okay, so we're on the top. We have uh, more morale than they do. They have only one leader. Two leaders, excuse me. We have a man with an eye patch. We have reduced morale on this side, unfortunately. We are killing more than we're losing. We're killing more than we're losing. We are killing more than we're losing. We're still in the skirmish phase, though. It's kind of be kind of to be expected. Hopefully, we route this one. Nice. We did get to the melee phase. We're going to lose tons of men because we're using lots of skirmishers. We just routed. We lost the left side. However, the center still has six thousand troops versus four thousand, and they're on twenty-seven percent morale. So, we are going to win that fight, albeit with quite a few losses, unfortunately. Another six point four war score. Captured some guy, and, uh, is he worth anything for the war? He is. Gostash is worth five war score. Cool. We don't want to do the siege yet. We do want to go to Fars. Let's go. March, march. He, okay, that's a lot of men. 18th. We get there after that. I don't like that. Let's go retreat. The Saramsahids are actually trying quite hard. Next, we have the Duchy of Afar is no longer part of the Duchy of Abyssinia. Kingdom of David is becoming a real place in history. 
The kingdom of the kingdom of David. A child who lacks an education focus. You are fussy and affection and conscientious. Sure. We may be able to bait them the same way that we did a second ago. 20,000 troops suffering attrition? Nice. Monthly attrition of 10%. And he's not going to be gone until the 14th of February, so he's probably going to suffer a massive attrition tick. Let's see. 10%. That should be 2,000 men. He should go down to like 18k. How did he just gain men? Could have been reinforcements. Okay, this army is going to Laristan on the 16th of February. Oh, wow. Crap. I didn't even realize what's happening. Yeah, we want to do this again. We want to have leading the center guy. And we want to just dock up with the other army. We still have more men than they do, but we definitely want to reinforce this as soon as possible. Ooh. Ooh, this is bad. This is really bad. We're going to get routed in the center. I could grab the army and try to force extra troops to the center. That's where we need to shore up the army the most. Let's do that, and... Stay in charge, Berhanuf! We need you. Nice. Reinforcements have arrived. We win. Ooh, I just got an achievement called Hospitable. What's that all about? Um, you guys can't see this, but I can look it up. Build a... Oh, what? I seriously just got an achievement for build a hospital? What? It's not... I, I built a hospital a long time ago. Doesn't make any sense. Yeah, that is the army that needs to leave. Please don't suffer attrition. Nice. No attrition suffered. We still have two subholdings to take, and they should fall relatively quickly. Supply here is 16k. We could leave a few more men. I think we... I think we do it this way. We'll drop these troops off here. Um, I want to take... Another 6k... Minus... Some... I do want to siege this province as fast as possible, but I don't really want to suffer any attrition. So we have 55 war score without the war goal. They have a ticking war score by now. 11 war score. I need to get up there and siege just one province. Unfortunately, they are all pretty well defended. The weakest one... That was, uh... 1900 troops. This is... about the same. Base tax next, 47 versus 81. This is the target, Lut. Gotta go for the province of Lut. Reports have reached us that traders and travelers are being harassed by raiders in your lands of Muscat. Oh crap, I didn't mean to click it. I meant to click, I was gonna look at, ah crap, I'm arbitrary now. Damn it. I didn't even get to see what the other ones were. Rats. Okay, um. Okay, the retinue reinforced, now we're suffering attrition, that's bad. Let's do. Ah, this interface, man. So bad. So, so bad. Do that. Man, these guys are marching really slowly. I f it's, it's so easy to underestimate how fast boats are. They are incredibly fast. Especially if you don't have to move from one sea tile to the next. Alright, one more sub holding here. All these occupations are worth uh, a little bit. Nothing major, but we actually lost control of something up here, too. And we're about to lose control of this up here. Still, I think the easiest way to end the war is going to be to go for Lut. Supply limit's 13k. We could do that siege pretty quickly. Actually, that's a pretty big factor. You know what? I'm going to go for the 16k. I want to park 16k here. We'll march part of the army this way, retake that. We'll march the rest of the army this way, sit there. If they come with the Shabanids, or whatever the hell they're called, then we can reinforce from this direction with the movement speed guy. We'll still keep the boats on higher, even though I don't plan on using them anymore. And this will take another number of days. God, if we had a siege leader, we could go even faster, of course. Let me know what your thoughts are. Do you guys think that uh, I'm right in that that every marshal... Would it would it just make it too simple if it was that way, or would it... Do you think the game would... Let's just leave it this way. Would the game be better or worse if something like that were implemented? Or would it just be different? Just tell me what your thoughts are. I'm curious. Uh, I want to pri still prioritize upgrades in our capital. We have new hospitals. Hmm. These are expensive. Let's, let's, let's focus. I only have... Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Let's focus on whichever ones have the highest develop... Like, the highest base tax to get the hospital upgrades first. So you... 
And then we'll do this one with the 118. With the disease resistance to try to protect those provinces. Damn it, they just had a reinforcement tick or whatever. One of those random events that raised it. And we are losing other sieges. So, war score is not really going great, but it, it's actually a lot better than you might expect. A big part of it is just that I am not... Not actually... Going for the war goal, which is really dumb. Alright, so you've got 25k supply there into 16k. We want at least 16k then. Let's stay here for a second. The army should be capable of standing here. So I want 16k. Uh, it's, it's way faster just to use the damn split army interface. So that stupid one. Close enough. Take that army through here. Into there. Take this army. Up to... Oh my god, that's big. Take the whole army there for now. Alright, cool. I'm gonna take a break here. Next episode, hopefully we win this war. We'll see. For now, though, as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you again in the next episode. See you soon.